Welcome to Focus on Faith, the program that brings you portraits of faith from across the nation. Join us as we bring you the faith of men and women from all walks of life who truly represent the spirit of America as we focus on faith. Greetings. Welcome to Focus on Faith. I'm Cindy Anderson, bringing you a worldwide fellowship of Christians and action. It was 1925 when Walter Maloon's father, Walter C. Maloon, moved the family from New Hampshire to Florida and started the Florida Variety Boat Company, now known as Correct Craft. Celebrating over 90 years of excellence in the marine industry, Correct Craft is a Florida-based company with global operations. The Correct Craft family, best known for its water ski and wakeboard boats, includes Nautique, Centurion, Supreme, Bass Cat, Yarcraft, Sea Ark, and Bryant Boat. While upholding the tradition established by his father of building boats for the glory of God, Maloon held many positions at Correct Craft over the years, including president and chairman of the board. A National Marine Manufacturers Association Hall of Fame member and industry icon, Maloon was known as the face of Correct Craft for decades. He traveled to 85 countries for the company in building the Correct Craft brand and exporting boats all around the world. Ralph C. Maloon passed away in 2005 at the age of 89. Now, since our visit, literally multitudes of people, young and old, have seen this timeless testimony through public service programming and cable networks. And now, it's available to you through Telemissions International's new Life's Lighthouse series of programs. We hope you enjoy this video, and if you like this series of videos, then please leave a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and please share the video. And if you want to check out the entire series, focus on faith and just click the link below. And thanks for watching. Focus on faith. Walter Malone, boat designer and former chairman of the Board for Correct Craft Incorporated, is a man of achievement and principle. As a businessman, Mr. Malone has overcome near impossible circumstances. After enjoying a thriving business for many years, the company came critically close to complete bankruptcy. Malone's faith in sound business principles was sorely tested when faced with an unwarranted inspection that judged thousands of correct craft boats to be unreliable. But Walter Malone pressed forward towards recovery. We recently filmed an interesting profile of this unusual businessman. Uh, we found ourselves building boats for the uh, Corps of Engineers, and uh, we had an inspector come into the office to see my brother and me, and uh, he wanted us to... Uh, pay them by paying all of their expenses while they were here in the city and this of course would just give them their pay as cream and we discussed it and we decided that this man had just been indiscreet and we would forget it but uh, we we did forget it for a few days but he didn't mm. and we suddenly found ourselves with some 600 boats that would not meet specifications according to the inspector. Well, numerous trips to Atlanta, numerous trips to Washington, and having uh, the help of uh, a man as high up as uh, General Wiedemeyer uh, making appointments for us in Washington, uh, we found that uh, the inspector and the Corps of Engineers could do no evil. They, it had to be our fault. Everything was uh, our problem. And uh, this kept up till this inspector to clinch his case went to the bank and told the bankers that uh, 
they were refusing the boats and that we were not going to make it and they better get their money out. Well, they canceled our line of credit and uh, I remember coming out of the uh, bank and looking up and wondering what part of the sky was going to fall next. And where do we go from here? Well, uh, we have to say that uh, God knows what he's doing and he raised up friends for us as far away as Norway. Uh, we had Lend-Lease in reverse. We were borrowing it over there and bringing it back here. And uh, these people really never should have loaned us any money. Uh, if they looked at things like bankers do, they wouldn't. But they did. And uh, with this help and uh, with God's guidance and direction, uh, we were able to begin to put this thing back together again. The Correct Craft Company did indeed recover successfully from complete bankruptcy to become regarded as one of today's largest and most respected competitors in the boat building business. Walter Maloon's wife, Betty, is an extremely supportive wife in business and at home, and she is consistently active in assisting and following her husband's career. Now, Walter and Betty, as we sit together and share the inside story of the industry of correct craft. The fact you pray together, the fact you read the Holy Bible together, I'm sure this is a very vital segment of your lives. Isn't that correct, Mr. Malone? That's right. Uh, this brings back the memory of when I was much younger, uh, having someone say in uh, a meeting uh, how many people have read the Bible through. Well, I thought I had, but it was here, there, and piecemeal, and I thought I'd probably read all of it, but I'd never started in Genesis and gone all the way through. So I began to ask the Lord one time what I, I could do to uh, read the Bible through and asked him to help me do it, help me find time for it. Well, you know, I had an idea he was going to send me up to a Bible conference somewhere and swing in a hammock <laughs> and uh, uh, have plenty of time to, to read the Bible through. Yes. It didn't work that way. I came home from a trip one time and my wife said, well now, uh, you are going to go into the hospital when, uh, next week. I've made arrangements for you to go. And I said, uh, I don't want to go to the hospital. i got business to hand. She said, well, you're going. I've arranged it with the doctor. And I said, well, how long am I supposed to be there? And she said, three days to make this correction, a physical problem I had. Well, 23 days I got out, and one of these Bibles over here on the table back of me, I had read the New Testament through. Mm -hmm. And then I found I had five weeks at home. Mm -hmm. Well, when I got through the five weeks, I, had, I could say with other people, I had read the Bible all the way through. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I would warn people who uh, want to do the same thing I wanted to do to be careful how you ask the Lord to help you. I think we both feel that the day is not started properly unless we read the Word and pray together and ask for the Lord's guidance and direction through our day. We know definitely that without that we would not be able to operate and uh, communicate in a way that would be pleasing to the Lord. Uh, we uh, personally this morning read Joshua 22:24. That was the reading for today. And uh, then uh, I have to say that, that uh, the Bible amazes me because whatever I'm facing, whatever I need to have answered, almost always, no matter where I read in the scripture that day, God brings to my mind that this bears on where you're standing right now. Well, Walter, after reading the Holy Bible again and again, out of the entire book, is there any special scripture passage that has special meaning to you well, the favorite portion came as a, a tremendous help to me daily as we marched through the problems of bankruptcy back starting 26 years ago. I found that I 
needed Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 every day. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. To me, there is one life and it has to be lived for Jesus Christ, and he has all the answers. Thank you for joining us today with our sincere hope that you have been blessed and encouraged with this Focus on Faith timeless testimony. Now, if you want to see more of these unique videos, then please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe in order to never again miss any of the upcoming timeless testimonies. By you simply caring and sharing this unique series of programs with others, you can greatly help our channel to reach multitudes for Christ. Now to quote Reverend Dr. Charles Swindoll says, no persuasive technique will ever take the place of a personal testimony. If you have not discovered the value of telling others how God can rearrange your life, you missed a vital link in the chain of his plan for reaching the lost, end of quote. So come on, let's get excited by helping this channel spread the good news. Now in closing, today's timeless testimony may have impacted someone out there and God is speaking to you right now. And that person wants to commit their life to follow Christ. Friend, I would encourage you to start by reading your Bible and to begin to practice what the Bible says. And I pray that you will get strong in the desire to go out and find a good Bible teaching church to join and to not let yourself get distracted, please. But rather, you will make this a priority in your life to seek God's will for a new life in Christ. Now, if you want to know more about having a more abundant and fulfilling life, then this booklet I'm holding right here, Beginning with Christ by Navigators International, is a great way to get started, and I want to send this to you absolutely free. If you'll simply email us at info at telemissions.org and request this free booklet there. And if you have a specific prayer request, let us know. We will include your request in our daily prayer time. Now, for those of you who would like to know more about Telemissions International and how this unique ministry got started, just visit our website. That's telemissions.org. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment on our website, and tell your friends about this new and exciting series of programs. We all know the power of a personal testimony in this and many more classic testimonies like this. We'll, we'll continue to spread the light, helping others around the world through God's lighthouse. That's right, God's lighthouse. And this picture of the lighthouse you see here behind me on the stormy shores of the Outer Banks is our hallmark signifying the importance of Telemissions International's re ministry reaching out to multitudes for Christ. Now, just think of it. Every timeless testimony that is being broadcast is like a beacon of light beaming out the good news on the stormy shores of cyberspace, as I like to call it, and it will go on for decades to come. So please, won't you consider sharing it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you can do to help spread that light. Now, thanks again for joining us today. This is Dr. Gordon Anderson, Jr. And I want to share with you our prayer promise, and that is Psalm 121, verse 2. And that says, My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And please remember to start every day in prayer. Now, God's richest blessings as you focus your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Daily, as we march through the problems of bankruptcy back starting 26 years ago, I found that I needed Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 every day. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. To me, there is one life, and it has to be lived for Jesus Christ, and he has all the answers.